What's up, Daily Dreamers? Mathers here with another episode of A Classy Friday. Today we're going to be playing some more OU Suspect Test, trying to get up that ladder so we can vote on the Landorus Incarnate ban. And I'm going to find a battle right now. Here we go. Fighting Ert. And he's got an Umbreon, and immediately makes me upset. And he says the timer on us straight away. Alright, I'm gonna try to lead with this thing. I have a feeling he's gonna go for rocks. Oops, I just realized I'm under the wrong avatar. There you go, we'll fix that for now. Okay, okay. Uh, so I will taunt him. Perfect. Now what's he gonna do though? <laughs> the thing just can come in. Yeah, oh, okay. He says good luck, have fun. Turn one. Not bad. Um Is now a good time to drop a Draco. Why not? That's solid damage. Uh, he does have the ice beam. And he gets the freeze. And his hunt wears off. I'm gonna go straight into my Starmie. So I do have rapid spin so I can get rid of these rocks at some point. And also Scald. So I can try to get him as well. But he does have a Latias on his own team, which is going to be a pretty safe counter to mine. It goes into Scizor and gets <laughs> completely ruined. <laughs> which is awesome. I think I'll try to rapid spin here. He can probably hit me with a bug type move, but he decides not to anyway. And I get the rapid spin off. Um, I can go in my Latingas. And probably dodge maybe a sleep powder, yep. And perhaps I can wake up and hit him with a psy shot, or not wake up, but unfreeze. <sighs> Gonna keep trying. Come on, Ladias. I believe. <laughs> it's pretty unfortunate that we got frozen. Pretty unfortunate. Stay frozen. I'm just gonna keep trying. <laughs> I mean, yeah, in case you decide with a lava plume, that's fine. I'm pretty safe going into my Charizard here. Um. Uh, not really ready to go for a dragon dance yet, so I think I'll just click Earthquake here. Goes in a lot of ass. Yeah, that was a pretty good play. Definitely should have switched, or maybe even gone for dragon dance, honestly, because might have been able to outspeed with just one up. Hmm. I'll go into my Scizor here on the Draco and thankfully do eat it up and I'll go for a U-turn here because I'm sure he's gonna switch out I doubt he's gonna wanna stay in versus my Scizor and even if he does stay in U-turn will do a lot of damage goes into the Swampert and that lets me go pretty easily into my Breloom should outspeed no problem I 
And I'm not going to go for spore. I'm just going to go for bullet seed because I want to put something else to sleep. Like this thing. Ooh. If he's speed invested, that could be bad. Okay, he's not good. <laughs> so he gets to go to sleep. And I can click swords dance. Although he has a pretty solid counter. He has two solid counters. So I'll have to just click Mike Punch instead. It'll do a little, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be a nice 2 KO. Which will be awesome. Unless I get low world. Goes into his Venusaur. That's a good play. Pull a switch in my Starmie. It's gonna kind of be kind of risky. Oh, why? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that's the things okay that have a sleep compared to everything else. He goes for Giga Drain, and we eat it up because we are Scizor. And I can go for a Bug Bite here. As he goes for Leech Seed, that does zero. <laughs> Crap. Go for a U turn. He goes for another Giga Drain. And I'll go into my Charizard. No problem. I honestly kind of want to hit Dragon Dance here. I might even get the victory actually if I hit Dragon Dance right now. And he doesn't get like a Sludge Bomb Poison or something. Beautiful. Now I should outspeed this lad, yes, unless it's scarfed. As we. I don't know. I guess I gotta go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Usually if it's scarfed, it would be Latios. Right? I guess. Come on, baby. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're looking good. Looking good. In comes the Umbreon. I bet this is to a KO. And if he doesn't wish right now, then I'll be in a really good position doing it. Ooh, and we get the burn. Damn right. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was pretty good on my opponent's part. Going for the foul play. to sleep. No, oh, I put the heat ran to sleep. Perfect. Um, bullet seed. And I can mock punch to take out the scissor. That way I can't bullet punch and break my sash. I just realized that this guy has some strange nicknames, but not I dig it. I dig it. <sighs> Venus was at 58. I'm going to switch into my Scizor. This thing is the only real problem left on my opponent's team. And I think I just need to somehow let my thingamajig of my star me wake up 
and that's how I'm going to deal with it. I'm just going to go for Bug Bite. I hope it doesn't have Synthesis. Oh, he has Leech Seed, right? I'm just going to click Roost here because I'm getting pretty low. And I guess I'll let him get a little higher in HP. Jeez. I'm going to pull switch into Gangbang because Gangbang is honestly not super useful right now, so I'll let him take a little damage if I can get uh, some kind of move off. I think I'll just go for Shadow Ball now. Shadow Ball will damage everything on his team, takes out the Swampert. It goes into the heat ran. <sighs> and I'm going to go in my star me. Because this is my best chance of waking up. Because this thing can't hit me with anything. If anything, it'll, put, it'll burn me when I wake up. Which I will happily take. Because that means the Venusaur will not be able to put me to sleep. And I'll be able to hit it with a Psy Shock. My opponent's really taking his time, deciding what move to go for. I think Lava Plume is probably the best play. Hits everything on my team. I don't know what he's thinking. Trying to make predictions or something, I don't know. Alright, finally goes through, Stormy comes out, stays asleep. And I can just click Scald here. He is getting leftover recovery, but I'm not really afraid of that because if no matter what HP he gets to, I still two hit KO him with my Bloom. And if I happen to wake up this turn and hit him with a Scald, then I'll be in a pretty good position. I might need to just like put speed in this thing, honestly. I'm running like a bulky analytic set for some reason, but it still manages to outspeed like everything because it has base 100 speed. Hmm. Okay. Best case scenario, I wake up, he stays asleep, and I hit him with a scald. Stay asleep, he wakes up. Hits me with an earth power, I eat it up. Alright, I really hope I wake up this turn, but if he does switch into the Venusaur, I hopefully get a, a scald burn. He does switch into the Venusaur. Can I wake up? I can't, and that's really, really unfortunate. <sighs> Since I have to go into Scizor now on the Giga Drain, thankfully it didn't go for Leech Seed. And I can get some Bug Bite damage off on this thing. U turn might be the better play if he does pull the switch. He doesn't pull the switch. He just gets you for lead seat, and we can get a nice 25% on this thing. I think I'll click U turn this time. Okay, he does go for Giga Drain again, staying in. And I can go into Gang Bang. And I'll just click Shadow Ball because I don't want to go for Sludge Wave and have him switch into Heat Ran. You're pretty unfortunate. Decides to stay in and goes for Giga Drain, and now I am in a really good position because Shadow Ball KOs Venusaur and will still do damage to Heat Ran if he decides to switch. And if he does decide to switch, okay, good. If he hadn't had decided to stay in there, then he would be in a lot of trouble. And actually, I think I just won. Oh wait, no, I didn't because um, he got the leftovers. Okay, gonna go in my Starmie. And click Scald, and hopefully I wake up, I, I wake up. Okay, okay, okay. I can just click Scald.
called again. And down goes this Venusaur, and that will be the game, because even if I am not able to KO a Scald and he somehow KOs me, I can still come in with my Balloon and finish it up with a Mach Punch. So that is awesome. So he goes into Heat Rain. I can just click Scald. And down it goes, and that's GG. Well played, my friend. Ert. That was good stuff. Let's see. We are at uh, six and zero oh in the OU suspect test with 380 coil up to 1174. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna remember to share that replay because I do want to keep track of this team's uh, record. So I'll come back to that later. But we'll find another battle though. <laughs> All right. I guess this guy looks like a trick room team to me because Diancy does get trick room and so does Slow King and Amoongus and Skarmory and maybe Celebi and Garchomp would benefit from it so I think I will lead with my gangbang to start it off she leads with this Garchomp I will taunt him because bulky Garchomp with Stealth Rocks is the one that's most common right now. I'm gonna go for it. I think I have to just because I have. I can't really afford rocks being up with my Charizard around. So we do manage to get him, which is nice. But nobody on my team likes taking a Dragon type move. I guess Blizzard does. Draco Meteor, what? <laughs> this is a special one. I'm gonna quick U turn. And he has Fire Blast. I should have seen that coming. Good God. I'm a fool. Of course he has Fire Blast. But since the taunt did wear off, I need to make sure to threaten him out. So I will just go straight for the Draco Meteor here. I don't want him to have the chance to get his rocks up. Geez, that's like the second special Garchomp I've seen lately. Is that becoming more common now? I guess. It does make the switch into his Al Capone, his Slow King. And takes only 40% from that Draco. <laughs> Jeez, this thing is a threat. Forces me into my Starmie, actually. As he goes for Future Sight. Oh, I love it. Ooh, I love it. That's so scary for me. I need to be in with my Starmie or my Latias in the course of two turns. And I kind of want to just go for Scald here and get a burn. <laughs> I could just hope for Hax. I'm going to go for it. Decides to pull a switch into his Celebi. And we get the burn. That's what, exactly what I wanted. Uh, I can go into my Latias pretty safely. Uh, and take the uh, Future Sight attack which will be good for me. Goes for Baton Pass. Fortunately, it will not be forcing me, be forcing me out because the, the Future Sight turn attack will hit this turn. I was into a Slow King and I hit take the Future Sight attack fairly well. And, uh, not really worth it to drop Draco. Jeez. Oh, I'm, I feel like I'm losing this battle. Because he does have this thing, and my only counter to it is completely countered by his Amoongus. You know what? Actually, Gangbang can put in some work as he goes for the Ice Beam. Jeez. I was hoping he'd go for another Future Sight or something. Uh, but Shadow Ball is honestly my best move. It hits everything on his team fairly well. 
And hopefully we'll just KO this thing. I doubt it will because he took 40% from a Draco. Get the defense drop. And he's just gonna KO us. Damn it. Damn, I did not play that very well. <laughs> you know what? If I can get a Dragon Dance up, I might win. I might not even need a Dragon Dance, actually. Although, it would be nice to have the extra power. I'm gonna try it. I think that's like one of my only chances. Gonna try it. He'll probably go for a Scald. Fortunately, it will be neutral damage when I become part Dragon type, and I won't be able to be burned. So we'll see what happens here. Yeah, I think his best play might be just going for Future Sight. It does pull the switch into his Garchomp as I click Dragon Dance. So I will be taking some Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin, I bet, here. But it will be good to at least just get rid of this thing. Uh, he might make the right play and switch into a Skarmory. No, he does not. And Okay, thankfully he does not have Rocky Helmet. I probably should have noticed like Leftovers or something earlier. And we are looking pretty solid right now. So we have this thing. We have... Oh, it has Sturdy, doesn't it? And he probably has Whirlwind. That's... Cool. Well, I'm going to click Flare Blitz anyway. Boom. He lives with Sturdy. We, and he has the Rocky Helmet. And he has Counter. My god. Why am I never, like... Okay. Bloom. Go for Spore. Because I'm sure he's going to switch. Oh yeah, he has two Grass types. Why would I bother going for Spore? <laughs> Damn it. And he has Natural Cure, too. Oh god. <sighs> yeah, you can't win them all, guys. You can't win them all. Unfortunately, that will be. This is probably going to be the end of my 6-0 run in the OU suspect test. <sighs> Ugh, like none of these moves are really safe to go for is the problem. I'm going to be risky. i got to make some plays. I predict him to go into Slow King, so I'm going to go into my Bloom as he Baton passes. Right, that's the much better play, is getting initiative. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. And something is probably going to be put to sleep here. Alright, Latingas, I guess you can go to sleep. No, what am I saying? Oh, damn it. That's for the foul play. That pretty much guarantees him the win, unless I can get him with a Psy Shock right now, which he can probably just switch any of his Pokemon in on. Yeah. Just gonna drop a Draco. Just gonna do it. He goes into this thing and I miss. Fantastic. I think I can afford to drop another one because even if he just pulls the switch into his DNC, I can switch up my moves after that. But I just died a life orb. So he goes for Baton Pass, so thankfully I won't get initiative this time, even though I only have two Pokemon left to his five. But whatever. Can't win them all. <laughs> he, he, okay, he turns off the battle timer. Maybe because he's lagging, I don't know. 
and he goes into Slow King. I'm forced into my Prelume, of course. And I'm just going to go straight for Bullet Seed. I mean, what can I do? Good God, help me. I can't switch into my Starmie because it could easily put it to sleep. Yeah, goes for the spore right there. Yeah, all right, now is my chance, if there's ever one, to switch into Starmie on his predicted something else. Okay, he goes for foul play and we eat it up. And I can click Psy Shock, even though it's probably not going to do that much to his Slow King or his Celebi. But he decides to stay in and put me to sleep. And that will be GG. And I'm just going to get out of here because I don't want to waste anybody else's time with this stuff. Let's see if he says GG back though. Whatever. Uh, Alright, we'll find one more battle. Alright, we get an interesting team here. <laughs> I assume the Ferrothorn is going to lead. I might just lead with this thing. I'll lead with Gengar. And leads with Rotom. Interesting. Latingas is my Rotom check. She goes for Volt Switch. It's fine. Oh, he definitely just trapped me with his Bishard. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate thing to happen. Turn one. Okay, decides to go into Guard of War. That I can deal with. That I can deal with as I go into my scissor. As he decides to mega angle for hyper voice, it gets a crit. Jeez. Jeez. Oh my god. I'm gonna roost here. As he pulls a switch into Ferrothorn, which I kind of expected. Um. Go to my Latias. It's probably not the best play because he does have that Bisharp still, but he didn't go into it already. And I kind of just want to go for HP Fire and get a crit and kill his Ferret Thorn right away. Even though he did get the rocks up, which is unfortunate. And hopefully he doesn't go into Bisharp here. You know. Okay, it does go into Gardevoir again, which means I can go into Blizzor again. And unless he gets another crit, we should be fine. Jeez, that does so much. But I am able to threaten him out with a bullet punch. I have a feeling he might just want to go for another Hyper Voice. I'm going to go for a bullet punch. He doesn't have the Ferrothorn to take the bullet punch and give me damage anymore. Alright, yeah, he does decide to stay in. And he goes for the Will-O-Wisp. Not bad. But he does down to 2% right now. And I can Healing Wish later if I want. Uh, I can't really risk him. I'm at a point where he can KO me with Hyper Voice. As he does decide to make the right play and go into his Rotom. But I can Roost here. And I definitely want to. So he goes for Volt Switch and we live it. And you can go into something, I don't know. Mammoth Swine, maybe. He goes into his Bisharp as I roost. Um, I can just roost again. He's probably going to knock the leftovers off, though. Yeah, it just actually just KOs me. And that significantly lessens the things that I can switch in on his Guard of War, which is unfortunate. 
and it does break my sash on my balloon with those rocks up. So I'll have to play this very carefully. Oh jeez, I can't really go into anything. I guess I'll have to go into my balloon because it is the most... Uh, I guess its focus sash is a little more expendable than half my Charizard's HP or getting like a hit with a dark move on any of my other Pokemon. Jeez, I'm weak to dark type. And this is actually a speed tie. That's unfortunate. I guess Mach Punch is my best play because it will KO his uh, Bisharp or damage the rest of his team. And then comes the Rotom. And this thing, if it is speed invested, it will outspeed me. But also it dies to a bullet seed. I think I'm going to go for a Spore. Okay, he pulls the switch into his Gudra, and I'm able to put the sleep. He was... Oh, right. Sap Super. <laughs> but I think you can go into Starmie here and maybe Rapid Spin. I have a chance to Rapid Spin. As he drops Draco. Oh my god, that does so much. Uh, but I will be able to outspeed in Rapid Spin, which will be really helpful to get rid of these rocks. Cool. So I do sacrifice my Starmie, but Duh. This is not looking good, folks. Not looking good at all. Hopefully he doesn't predict. All right, we just get to KO him, which is nice. Uh, and we do outspeed his entire team, although this thing is probably Sash. I just know he's going for like icicle crash or something. Kinda just wanna go for flare blitz. Yeah, because honestly I kinda win with Berloom. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Alright, he lives it. And probably goes for Earthquake actually, yeah, that would make sense. Uh, but Berloom is honestly a really safe switch right now because he no longer has any grass types and he dies to Mach Punch. Crap, he might kill you with Ice Shard. Hopefully not. Alright, pulls a switch into his Rotom, which is fine by me. Mm, I can Bullet Seed. Which I'm sure will KO since I did 33% with Mach Punch. Oh, it might not KO. I'm going to go for Spore to be play, play a little safer. So he goes into the Gardevoir just to sack it. That's fine. Boom. Down goes his Gardevoir. It might be a choice. Um, Mammoth Wine. Sure would be scary. If he's just got the switch out to be able to go for Ice Shard. As he does bring in his Mammoth Swine. And I will go into my Latinga to just kind of see what happens here. He does go for Ice Shard. And will be able to KO me. I'll just go for Psy Shock. It's fine. And I can switch into my Gengar. And just click Shadow Ball. At this point, it does just get damage. Hopefully, I will not die to an Ice Shard. If he stays in, goes for Ice Shard, and I live it, then I think I win. So 
So hopefully that is the case. He just has to switch into his Rotom. Probably making the right play because getting his uh, thingamajig, his Bisharp in here will be really helpful for him. And now it is becoming a question, will he go for knockoff or will he go for sucker punch? Because if he goes for knockoff, I can hit him with a focus blast. He really has no reason not to go for sucker punch, unless I switch. I think my safest and best play would be to switch straight into Berloom. Because I should be able to eat up a knockoff. And if he goes for Sucker Punch, that's even better. Goes for the Iron Head, and thankfully I do also live that. But now I can go for Mach Punch, and something will die. Alright, Bish Driver goes down. And now... I think I just go for Mach Punch right here because I can't afford to switch into my Gengar and let it take a hit. So I have to go for Mach Punch. And we outspeed and get the win with nice, good stuff. So I never really had to fear the Ice Shard anyway, unless he didn't go for it that turn. Uh, but that's another win for us, which is awesome. Brings our ranking to 7 and 1, I believe, with that last loss. Yes, it does. We are at coil 610 and rank 1182. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, that will be it for this episode of Classy Friday, though. Uh, we get nice uh, two wins, one loss. Pretty good stuff. Um, but look forward to more OU suspect tests. Oops. My bad. <laughs> I forgot that clicking it while I'm in the app will open up Google Chrome but you know what I'll finish this up, up before Google Chrome opens hopefully and ah oh, I didn't do it quick enough I'll just block out the screen for that part but guys if you did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like button why did I say it again please make sure to leave a like down below because your support does not go unnoticed make sure to leave a comment down below maybe suggest uh, something for me to use next time I do OU Suspect Test because this is the second time I use this team. I'm probably going to want to switch it up in the next next time I play OU Suspect, but uh, let me know what you think down there. Also, let me know how you guys are doing in the OU Suspect Test, if you're doing it, uh, why you're doing it, and how you're doing it. And also, what you think of Landorus. Should it be banned? Should it not be banned? Let's open the discussion up. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because I do a lot of Pokemon content and coming out all the time. And guys, keep dreaming. I'll see you next time. Peace out.